hello pisces it's your girl blue phoenix and we are back with our message for the day i hope that this message finds you well and in good spirits and if you're not it's my intention that you will be by the end of this reading <laughs> so come on in <clears throat> and let's get some messages from your spirit team just some messages um for the rest of the week okay all right before we start vip 2.0 are y'all ready tomorrow night is our monthly live so make sure your face is in the place so you can get your reading with me blue phoenix the golden goddess okay <laughs> our reading will be at 6 p.m tomorrow night central standard time all right so make sure y'all come on in ask your questions you know what i'm saying and um yeah let's hang out and have a good time if you haven't become a vip 2.0 citizen yet you can press the join button down below or you can look in the description box and um join that way as well all right it's for the vip 2.0 all right <clears throat> all right Holy Spirit. we do that every month on the last wednesday of the month around 6 uh, 6 p.m central standard time all right what's coming towards pisces the rest of this week spirit all right we're accepting something some form of clarity has is coming through all right, we're accepting something, <clears throat> some form of acceptance, past life. Interesting. So something from a past life could be revisiting you, okay? This is giving me roots. This is giving me like something that's deeply embedded within you. I'm also hearing like, I heard that the other day, like, DNA activation. Somebody's favorite flower or tree could be like a cherry blossom. Okay, you see the little like cherry blossoms. <clears throat> <coughs> Japanese cherry blossoms. Something. I don't know. Something about a past life and accepting something here. All right, Holy Spirit, a union. It could be a union. Okay, come on now. Hallelujah. All right, Holy Spirit. Ooh, and then we got illusion on the bottom of the deck. Avoid the trap of mistaken fantasy for real soul connection. Interesting. Holy Spirit, what's coming towards Pisces this week, please? It's something about you still holding steady to some sort of vision you have. All right, you have clarity and rekindle. Union, y'all. This could be a past life union. Someone here is going to eat. I don't know. You may have you may already know this person, okay? But a past life person <laughs> somebody that you knew in a past life you're about to rekindle a connection with them this week and you gotta know who this is you gotta know okay all right trees trees could be significant all right maybe i don't know i know i like to talk to trees okay and tell them good morning and things like that <laughs> right <laughs> i don't know it's something about roots here, now. It's something about, like, deeply embedded. Uh, okay? It's a tell the tree what you really think. This could be somebody new. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You got two gifts this week. I don't like what's up under that, though. It's the Eight of Swords. It's the Eight of Swords. The Queen of Swords, the Queen of Cups, and the Two of Swords. You may have some questions about this union in the beginning, but I feel like your angels are going to help you break through some sort of illusion or something here, now. Nah? This is a lot of damn swords. You may really be in your head about this when you meet this person. Okay. All right, Holy Spirit. What else, please? Anything else from this deck was coming towards Pisces this week? 
wow, three cards fell out. Y'all, I kid you not, past life is on the bottom of the deck. What the fuck? Oh my God, you see that? It's like past life. I want you to see it. You see it, okay? I know you see it. Acceleration, commitment, and maze. Who child, you could have, you, okay. All right, something about speed here, okay? Something about something speeding, picking up. You could have really gone through a maze of connections, okay? Unions, right? Um, it's something about relationships here for you. Commitment as well, okay? You could have dealt with a lot of fakes, a lot of duds, a lot of... Uh, 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 people presenting as one way but actually turning out to be something totally different you could have met many roadblocks in connections commitments unions even friendships for some of y'all okay all right so let's talk about it all right spirit <clears throat> you want to tell me about this past like okay we got justice <laughs> coming out okay justice is here libra energy oh my goodness past life cupid and true love y'all tell us about this past life connection holy spirit a libra could be significant a pisces another pisces could be significant all right, you got um, a hangman and the justice. Tell me more spirit. What's coming towards Pisces in this past life connection? Four of Pentacles. The tower. And the two of swords. It's something about questioning this. Like I said earlier, you could have really, based on what has happened in your past, you could be kind of like holding back from and be questioning like, is this really, is this really it? Is this person really a part of my... Like, you know what I'm saying? You could really question this connection. It's something about speed here as well with y'all, with this connection, okay? I heard you could even meet this person in a peculiar way, way or a... a, a, a it's like off the beaten path. It's a lot of illusion here. It's a lot of it's a lot of uncertainty. Okay, a lot of that. All right, what's the purpose of this person coming into Pisces life? What are they here for? Is this love, friend, family? What is this? Well, damn. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you got the king of wands on the bottom of the deck okay hold on oh shit oh shit why why is there so much angst around this this feels literally this feels come on we started with the ace of pentacles and the ace of cups you got the ten of cups for who this is but the nine of swords it's like there's some sort of like it's almost like too good to be true is what it's giving me. Like someone is going to have a hard time believing in this or trusting that it, this is what it is. It's something about speed or something happening without notice or something here. Like just all of a sudden like you could meet this person all of a sudden or i don't know it's some, this tower is here with the ten of wands right after it 
and the seven of cups like This person may also come when you have a lot of other things going on too. Like a lot of different people, places, things pulling on your energy. Then bam, right when you're not thinking about it, when you are focused on something totally different, here comes a past life soulmate. But why are you so worried about this, though? Or why are they so worried about you? Put the energy where it goes. Because this, this is a gift. This is a gift. It's a, it's, a, it's a stable gift, and it's full of love. You know what I'm saying? It's a brand new beginning. Abundant, loving new beginning. But seven of cups, ten of wands, nine of swords. Ew. Why is the ten of wands here, spirit? Like, you could be literally going down one road. I'm, like, know what you finna do for the rest of your damn year. And then, bam, all of a sudden, here comes this person. And you're like, oh, my God. Like, shit gotta get changed around. A turn. I don't I don't know. Let's see. I'm telling you, not a cuss of the fucking temperance. I'm telling you, look. This is good. This is a, this is good. <laughs> Why the fucking maze, though, y'all? Like, what is this? What is this? Like, you gotta, like, damn. It feels like shit, nah? What's all the worry about, spirit? A uh, Aries or Sagittarius could be significant. Why is the Nine of Swords here? For what's coming towards Pisces. What they worried about, spirit? You worried if this is real. If I'm telling you, <laughs> it's real. It's real. You don't have to pinch yourself, okay? Look, why you worried? Is this for real? Is this the truth? It is, and it's another fucking gift, bruh. Look at all these gifts God got for you. <laughs> There's a lot of gifts. Oh my God. <laughs> There's a lot of gifts. You might not even suck your own. You might not even be able to contain yourself. Okay. I heard multifaceted. Somebody could be like multifaceted, multi-talented or something here. Okay. All right. Somebody is about to get their nine of cups, but listen, don't overthink this shit. Remember the eight of swords and all that? I'm like, ew, what can I tell y'all? Get out your head, Pisces. This is real, okay? Yes, this is real. Tell us about this person, Spirit. So, no, 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 no. First, tell me what's the, um, what is the seven of cups here for? Listen, listen. You could be used to doing things. It's something about having shit mapped out, like, for the rest of the month, the rest of the week, the rest of the year, whatever, 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 right? Because you got the Nine of Pentacles here. Nine of Pentacles, she independent. She used to doing things by herself, right? Okay? And for, for y'all, this don't have to be romantic. This could be a soul family, like somebody who is a soul mate, a part of your soul family. You got the Ten of Cups here. So that's soul family anyway, right? Whether this is a lover or a platonic. You understand what I'm telling you? All right. Somebody is coming into your life as a gift. It's a gift. They are a gift. Or either you about to be a gift. So I feel like it's both. I'm going to be honest. Listen, though. You may be used to doing things a certain type of way, Pisces. Right? Especially if you, if you are single. You know what I'm saying? And this is a love, right? This is like attracting love. All right? It's something about <laughs> you questioning yourself like, oh, my God, do I really want it? Because I feel like the person I'm talking to, you ain't even studying other people right now. You know what I'm saying? Like your mind is you, you got other shit going on here, right? It's like you're not even expecting this. 
And here it comes. Just be open to being flexible. You understand what I'm telling you? I don't know now. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just saying. Take that how you want to. Okay. Ooh. I ain't see the ace of wands out here yet, but let's keep on pulling. <laughs> Holy Spirit. <laughs> it's something about speed here. It's something about speed. You got the three of swords on the bottom of the deck. Let's put this back though because I answer questions. So Holy Spirit, tell me more about this person, this um, past life connection, please. Wait a minute. We never did get nothing on this damn tower. I mean, it's, it's kind of self-explanatory. Something is coming into alignment without you even thinking about it. This is also like, this is, this is, this is karmic justice is what this is, y'all. Because there's gifts out here on this damn board, okay? It's something about, look, I just got a notification to take the trash out, okay? So something about getting rid of old shit or maybe throwing something away, I don't know, all right? Just clear, clearing the way for the, for the new shit to come in, okay? Why is the Ten of Wands under the hangman spirit? <laughs> oh my God. It's something about your attention too now, okay? Somebody might want your attention or something, or someone could be calling for your attention. I recorded this video, but something cut off the video before this one, right? And as soon as I press record, I'm saying hello to y'all. And the train passes by so there's definitely something here about attention okay but you got the lovers here for the hangman and the ten of wands somebody has been patiently waiting for a union a divine union my ninja you understand me this is beautiful this is nice why is the seven of cups under the four of pentacles the three of cups Give me a minute. This is like narrowing something down or something here too. Okay, hold on. I'm also hearing like a release of some sort of worry, some sort of fear also confusion it's like i don't know where your mind been lately it could have been mine on my money and my money on my mind like literally his money is on his mind it's literally sitting on top of the hell you know what i'm saying 18 18 on the clock It's some sort of illusions here. Because I ain't 18, the moon. Okay. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's the moon in tarot. 18, 18. A cancer could be significant. Gemini, Libra, Pisces. What is this that was not clear? The Six of Pentacles. You could have found yourself in the past in relationships that were not equal give and take, that were not balanced here. This is giving me, like I said, like a process of elimination, almost like you've gone through a process of elimination. You know what you want. You know what you don't want. You know what you will accept. You know what you will not accept, okay? This person is coming in with the Six of Pentacles, though, Pisces. Okay. To your Three of Cups. All right. How is, it, how is Pisces going to feel about this, this encounter, this person? We got the King of Pentacles. 
how you're going to feel about this person. All right, so you feel as though this person is stable, prosperous, secure, abundant. This person could work for themselves. All right, don't have to. But there's definitely financial intelligence here. This person is generous, okay? Caring, kind, all right? Giving, okay? Definitely, y'all, this is good. This is good energy. And attractive. Wow, you and this person are gonna build a life together, a home together, all right? Y'all are also going to experience some sort of like, um, not just elevation. I'm hearing kind of like a, um, like a, a next level with each other. Something that neither one of y'all have seen for yourselves independently together. Y'all are going to be able to see something that you experience something that you haven't experienced before. All right. What else, Spirit? This week for Pisces. What's going on in this past life connection? Bitch, I'm finna go. That's all. That's done. That's it. Now I don't like five of swords right here, though. But you got the six of wands. This is victory. This is that next level. This, and then you got 66 here on the board. That could be significant. The six of wands in a love reading in tarot is like power couple, y'all. I'm telling you. It's like two very independent, stable, stable people coming together. Y'all done had to figure some shit out to get to each other, though. Like, real talk. Something is, something is accelerating here, though. It's something about time. Okay. Fifty-five could be significant too. One of y'all are gonna have to deal with some sort of like abandonment issues, some sort of like um, some some sort of behavior that one of y'all picked up as a defense mechanism because you needed it in the past, right? You need it to be about self, to make sure you guard yourself and make sure that, you know, you get your fair share of something, okay? In the past or this person, okay? One of y'all could have needed to be in this type of five of swords, uh, eight of swords, like this type of energy, which is kind of, uh, right? We gonna have to undo this. Somebody gonna have to unlearn this shit. Because you're calling in a balanced partner. Like, this is equal, my ninjas. This is equal. It's fucking equal. Okay, just period. Look, nah. Okay. This is equal reciprocity. This is meeting your person. This is your pal. You understand what I'm telling you? But some sort of, like, old way of thinking... Okay, because you got the five of swords and the eight of swords here. It's giving triggers. Okay, so this person could also, or you put the energy where it go. Somebody could get triggered here from the other person, but that's literally growth, right? When you, when, how do you say? That is opportunities for growth, right? When we're recognizing our triggers and things like that right to to work on them and to integrate them what's to come for this connection my god my god hallelujah okay thank you jesus you understand me okay hallelujah all right advice for pisces please It's something about watching for signs or something, too. Look, let go. Let go. I know you used to having to do it yourself. You used to having to protect yourself and keep shit tight to you. Somebody going to have to open up and be vulnerable here, okay, and more trusting. You understand what I'm telling you? Real talk, because Jesus, hallelujah. Okay, come on, y'all. This is gorgeous. 
let go. And allow, baby. Allow this person to love the fuck out of you. You understand me? And you go love the fuck out of them too, okay? I'm just saying. This is beautiful. Real talk. Test. I told you. One of y'all, something about a trigger. Something about a trigger here. It says your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. 11 11. Pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities when you're with this person. Trust your intuition. And you got your heart here with synchronicity and embrace. All right. So this looks good, Pisces. You got tests now. All right. You got tests. So just be aware. Okay. Because I feel like one of the reasons this soulmate is coming into your life is to help you or for you to help them heal some sort of trigger, uh, trauma, or something. To bring it to the forefront. To really make you self-evaluate. You know what I'm saying? For instance, right? Me, I've been doing shadow work lately, right? And I shared with y'all the other day in our shadow work video about um, how I was realizing my actions and previous relationships and how it affected it you know what i'm saying me attracting the same person in a different damn body it's like yo it's not them it's me you know what i'm saying like i can't do hello it's a common denominator here it's me you know what i'm saying when we figure that shit out and we realize like yo maybe i need to work on me i keep on talking about all the all the oh, fuck these and no <laughs> what's, what's what's going on with me you know what i'm saying but i feel like Either you're going to do this for this person, this person going to do it for you, or y'all might do it for each other. All right? All right? That's what healthy soulmate connections do anyway. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Pisces, I love you so much, boo. Don't forget also for the month of June, we're doing $44 readings in honor of my ancestors. So make sure you jump on that because when it's over with, it's over with, boo. Okay? And the prices go back up. So get your reading. Okay? <laughs> I don't know why I just like sassy attitude, girl. I don't know. Maybe you sassy, Pisces, or this person is, okay? Anyway, I love y'all so much. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye, Pisces.